On today's episode of PJ and the Beard, we're going to do a look what we found. And the we is actually he. And he found something uh, made by the same pedal manufacturer that we recently reviewed another pedal. And he is going to tell you what it is. Yeah, so, I mean, one of the beautiful things about Reverb.com is you can get on there, put things in your feed, watch for the good price to come up, and then make offers on the good price to get an even better price. And So sometimes you can get really smoking deals, so, um, if you weren't aware of that, it's, that's the way to do it. Today, looking at the Rats pedal, so this was a used off-reverb find, came in the Padded envelope, no box or anything like that. Just kind of wrapped and thrown in there. And um, if you don't know, it's modeled after... <laughs> the mouse? Yes. It's after, I mean, after Proco Rat. Yeah. So, and um, it's made by... Fox Gear. Who we recently reviewed another pedal of theirs. Which is sitting right next and to it. And maybe we're going to get into that. And I right. Well, I mean, no, it. it's fine. It's the Echoes pedal we did on, on another episode. And we, we, we like that. And I've used it a couple times. I used it the other day. So um, that's a pretty nice little analog delay. Bucket, brigade. If you put bucket, brigade, chip, or whatever, analog delay, kind of, that's how I like this. So um, the Rats pedal, I've been interested in. You know, TPS, the, that pedal show just did a whole series on the Rattler by Jam pedal. Uh, which is also in my feed, but man, those, they, they've driven the price on those. Up you need and, both of your kidneys, you're saying? Yeah. And you know, I'm just not sure. I had a rat pedal back in the day and I'm just not sure. Uh-huh. I want to get into that again. This was a, was a good entry. Like, Can I ask you a question? Our videos are already way too long, but what was your inspiration for buying the rat? Like, was there somebody playing it that you saw one of your heroes? Well, no, it was, it was... So jam pedals, we have no jam pedals. I'd like to have some jam pedals. They're raw. Their uni vibe looks killer. Um, their chorus looks everything they do is all handmade. It all looks it looks absolutely killer. Uh, and so TPS that pedal show has been doing a lot on the rat the rattler. And we've talked about you know we get these drives they all sound the same. I thought well maybe the rat's a little bit more. So we're talking like a distortion yeah, pedal. Yeah, we've done overdrive and we've done fuzz. Right. This is probably the first distortion. Pattern. Right. This is the first kind of in between. Yeah. So, knowing that we haven't really gone down that road yet, because we've been overdrive players forever. You know, give us an overdrive pedal, turn up a tube amp, we're good. This show has gotten us branching out into like let's let's check out fuzz pedals. Let's check out some. We other do show. it for the show. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's you can cool. edit that out. So our wives are already hip on why we actually yeah. do this. So, I mean, that's what brought the rats pedal up, yeah. and so I just thought. Like, let's check this out. You know, at the the price, brand new, this pedal line from Faxcare is very reasonable. You know, I think worth every penny, penny, brand new. Use market, especially if you find that guy that just wants to unload a pedal, mm-hmm. really reasonable. So, um, and there, and he has the power off of his board right at the moment. But when he hits that switch, mm-hmm. other than the pop, you might hear. You'll see why I like the pedals. Yes, because I'm Pat, very easily entertained. Pat likes lights. Ooh. So when you when that pedal was off, I picked this guitar because it almost matched the pedal, and it still matches you know, parts of the pedal. So I get the pedal and the. So guitar you're playing a '98 Strat, American Strat is, Deluxe, is through uh, PV Classic 30. Mm-hmm. I'm playing a 2000 PRS McCarty through a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. We're going guitar. Rats, Echoes, and then as we were kind of down here just fooling around a little bit, seeing what we liked, Pat's like, I know, you got to throw some kind of... Some kind of warble. Warble in front of it for near the end, maybe. So, uh, a pedal that's never been on the show, but it's been sitting around for a while, is the Pickle Vibe from Love Pedal, so it's a very one-knob vibe, I think. Well, I'm not going to tell you much more about it. Right. We'll, we'll save do an it episode f- on... Save it for another show. Maybe we'll have a one-knob wonder show. Oh, yeah. So, the Echoes, uh, I guess we could go reference tone. Sure. Uh, we'll put the Echoes on. <coughs> Excuse me. A little bit. 
rat everything at 50? Uh, we could start there. I will tell you as we go through, you'll see that these knobs are pretty responsive, pretty um, sensitive. Yeah. So we're going to go just at 50 just to start, and then we'll go real from there. So maybe like some, yeah, and a couple the, chords and then some single. So you've got volume, gain, and is that filter or the other fuzz? I can't filter. see. Filter. I'm an old man. Filter. All right. So what did you say? I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'll do some like singles, yeah, yeah, yeah. some chord stuff. Yeah, just a little bit of everything, like a little hooky stuff. And oh, I guess it turned on. So if I push this, it turns on. Is that what happens? Mm -hmm. Wow, <laughs> and it's amazing. <laughs> you'll know right away because it, yeah, it does have a little a little noise. We noticed. So, so should I keep playing that? I would play the same thing because I think I'm going to start with that setting and do the filter and just get a feel for filter? the filter because it's pretty dynamic and it, it it's so it's I'll just sweep through it as he's playing that and just let him do that and then maybe we'll stop and then I'll pick which next knob I'm going to <laughs> go for. But all right, and so. I'll probably bridge or ignite bridge. I like the bridge because it's going to make it round and it's going to punch like distortion. So. So it got super bright at the top end, and not only like uh, deeper, but quieter, like on the far, when I turned it to the far left, okay. back towards zero. Uh, so let's do the opposite of where I think I want to land. <laughs> so I'm going to take the gain, because again, I'm a gainiac, in case you don't know. I'm going to take the gain back. I'm going to think I'm going to leave the filter about there, maybe for now. And then I'm going to go volume there, maybe split the difference between those two things and see what we get. Got a little loud in here, wow. but fat, like wow, yeah. But you can see these knobs are really responsive. I, I mean, the nice thing about this is if when you bring this gain up and it starts to get too flubby and and dark, you can just dial this up a little bit until it brings some of that top end back. So you can get the fuzz, and you can bring back the clarity. You turn that up when the volume's up and the and the gain is down, it's really bright and like like a rear pickup in some guitars that's not tamed. I don't know. I think you can find something in there. Um, yeah. And not a crazy insane volume, but <laughs> shockingly enough, it sounds best when it's really loud. Yes. The louder it got, the better. It opens up. It, um, so where were you kind of near the end of that? Near the end, I was almost dimed. And um, I was probably about there. And then I just played with that to get the tone reasonable for us not to die in the room. So...
yeah, it, it can get really mid rangey if you're not careful. But yeah, I, I, it, it screams. I mean, definitely has sustained. Uh, like a rat caught in a trap. Sustained. So, <coughs> it is a little loud. I, I mean, if we're going to be honest, because it wasn't given to us, what do we care? It's loud. It's got a lot of noise. Like, I'm not sure why. We haven't quite figured that out. Noise for it, yeah. It's, yeah, it, it's hissy, for sure. Even, even when you don't have it totally juiced, it's, it's just, I don't know. Put it back to totally juiced ones. What's it do with volume knob? So. up a little bit yeah. but not clean clean i mean for something that's going to rip your head off if you dial that volume all the way up it cleans up to where you could drop back in a verse or something if somebody's singing along and <laughs> and i wouldn't say the volume difference is too it gets full right i, I agree it doesn't but it doesn't, volume-wise, it's not like going over the top. Like, that's so low, you couldn't use it with the band. And when you roll back up, that's so high, it would be higher than right. the band. Like, you could right. you could fit that in with the with the band, I think. I think. So, but no. I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, do we want to play it through single coils? I mean, we can edit something out here. I don't know if we just want to switch cables. Well, do you want to do the... Do you want to play through twice? Or yeah. do you just want to switch to single coils? Do that a little bit, and then we'll switch back to... Yeah. I mean, you want to just play it through the single coils since you were playing it through the... Play that same thing? Yeah. We could do and that. We could edit all this part out and just be like, hey, no. Um, without going through everything that we just did, but I mean, we could start back a little bit. Sorry. So now we switch to the Strat because we want to try to do a single coil because maybe distortion we know is going to react a little bit differently. We won't go through the whole thing that we just did, but we'll at least start at 50 just to begin. And maybe I will take the liberty to dial it up to where I think it sounds good. Yeah, uh, sounds again, good. it's a one. It's it's not a right or wrong. It's my way. <laughs> um, like Frank Sinatra over here. We're in the middle pickup right now. Okay. We'll see if we stay there. Okay. Uh, so I'll play that same riff. I'm not sure what that is. Um, something not copyright, probably. Something like yeah. well, especially if you play it like it's just random intervals. Don't actually right. Doom 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 doom. I always go back right. to that. I just you know we'll is play the so riff. We'll play the the riff part a whole bunch of times and go to chords once in a while just to see what the chords sound like. Uh, I have no idea what it is. So. Is, is it Ice Ice Baby or Under Pressure? Which which one? Is it? <laughs> Don't even. <laughs> All right. I remember when Under when Under Pressure came out, I was in a record store. Remember record stores? You can read the liner notes. Yeah, it's great. I was in a record store and some kid was like, "Who stole Vanilla Ice's song?" <laughs> Thank you. 
it for a strap is really meaty. Yeah. And the weird thing is, when you were playing with, I don't know if you were playing with the filter or what, but there was a moment, if you rewind, you'd probably see it. There's a moment where I'm play, just playing, and I'm like looking down here because I felt like I flipped to one of the middle positions. Wow. And it wasn't. It probably the, would have been the filter, I think, probably. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't the strat. It was the pedal almost mm -hmm. gave it that not middle, but like uh, two or four kind of sound. Mm -hmm. Like I thought maybe my hand had no, knocked it back. No. I don't think it did. I don't think it did. I don't think so. But that, yeah, that that um, that filter is interesting. That is crazy. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I could see. I'm liking that. I could see because I always have two overdrives on the pedal board, and they both sound exactly the same. I could see <laughs> we're having something like that to right. get that. A little bit more over the top for when you want that little more over the top. So I think we're going to play out. And when we play out, uh, <coughs> at some point I'll reach down there and kick on the pickle vibe just yeah. for something to do. Uh, so with that, I've uh, got more stuff coming. I'd like to check out some more of the Fox Gear stuff. There's a couple other pedals in that line that I think would be cool. Um, no promises on when that's going to happen, but... Uh, <laughs> I'd like to well, check whenever the reverb those. feed sells him, it's time. <laughs> whenever the reverb feed <laughs> approves. Uh, but there's a lot of other stuff coming uh, and some good plan. I think we're starting to get some ideas, some new ideas for field trips and stuff. Yeah. And starting to talk about when they're going to happen. And those are probably one of our favorite things. So with that, I guess, subscribe. Click the like button, if you will. Um, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Have you tried any of the other Fox Gear pedals? Which ones have you tried? Do you mm -hmm. like them? Um, uh, if you are a rat fan, because we are, I had a rat, like I said, I had a rat years ago. I don't even really remember. Is that when you were breeding reptiles, you had a rat? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, if, if you, yeah. you know, are a big fan of the rat pedals yeah. and tried some of the different variations out there, what did you think, kind of? And with that, I think. With that, I am PJ on behalf of the beard, reminding you no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear. Ooh, I got Look at that. That was exciting. <laughs>